after God created the heavens and the earth, he proclaims on the sixth day and he says, everything that I've created and made was good. But unfortunately, in chapter 3 of Genesis, the Bible says Adam and Eve fall into sin. After they fall into sin, they separated themselves from the God of the universe. Unfortunately, Isaiah proclaims and says in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2 that our iniquities and our sins have separated us from God. Indeed, when we look at this world, my friends, the world has deviated from God. The things that are happening in this world have, are showing us that indeed we have separated from the creator of the universe. But because God is love, God wanted to devise a way of bringing his creation back to him. Satan had the upper hand when, when Adam and Eve fell into sin. Satan had the upper hand when men and we and the, when the men and the woman lost their first state in the Garden of Eden. But because God is love, God wanted to devise a way of bringing humanity to himself. God wanted to meet man where he was. God being holy as he is, he chose through love and through his care to come and meet us in our point of need. And he thought to himself, what is it that I can use to meet man where he is? Man has fallen from his first state. I created man to be a, 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 a being that is going to worship me. Not only worship me, that I'm going to have a relationship with him. But unfortunately, man had fallen from his first state and God devised a way. And this way is found in the book of Exodus chapter 25. God wanted to meet man from where he was because man could not come to God because God is holy and man was unholy. Rather, God stepped out of his throne and he started to come to where man was. Listen to what he says in the book of Exodus chapter 25 verse 8. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. I want to say to you, my dear friend, when God saw that we are chaotic, when God saw that we are mad, when God saw that we do not have a direction, when God saw that we are leading towards destruction, God did not lose us, God did not forsake us, God did not give up on us, but God decided to devise a way of bringing us back to him, of bringing the sinful human being to start and have a relationship with him. And he devised a way through the sanctuary. He says, make me a sanctuary so that I can meet them where they are, so that I can meet them in their point of need. God devised the sanctuary. Whenever someone sinned, he would bring his lamb to the sanctuary so that the priest can, can sacrifice the, the, the sacrificial offering at the sanctuary so that his sin can be forgiven. But thanks be to God because after 4,000 years, Jesus came and he died on the cross. Jesus came and became our sacrifice. Therefore, when we come to God, we don't need the lambs. When we come to God, we do not need something else which is an animal that is going to atone for us because the blood of Jesus has provided atonement for us. Jesus came and met us at our point of need. Why don't you come to Jesus right now? He's waiting for you at the point of your need. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh,